Hello, 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 hello. How are we today? Welcome to my channel, Linda Tillman Craft Along. If you've noticed I, you've been here a while, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I do uh, all kinds of different type of crafting from card making and I go through seasons. It's depending on my mood, what I'm up to at that time. So I am making mugs these days and I watched Ken Hess use, um, use chocolate ink on a mug and I was like, well, I have some of that that I never used. So I have the cat candy apple red. I have the black velvet. This is from when I was trying to sell. I have meadow. I have kutcher teal. And then I have white, which we won't be using white on a white mug. But if I had a black sublimation mug, then I could do that bright white. But or colored shirt. Because these are for shirts and things, too. So I thought, well, let's put a... Um, let's put a monogram. I bought the brush when I was doing this. I purchased their brush font. It's a really huge set here. A bunch of different letters. It's the whole alphabet and their brush script. So I was like, well... I'm wondering what it would look like if I just spelt out my name on the mug. I thought the L was going to be more curly Q, whatever. Actually, let's do the letter B, because I know somebody with the name. Oh, she won't use mugs, though. I only got one for. So there's no sense. All right. Anyway, let me get this open and let me get the letters out. Let's see. I have to cut them apart because I haven't cut them apart yet. I haven't done any of that. Maybe somebody will join me. Say welcome, welcome, welcome. And I was also practicing doing the sublimation prints onto wood, which I had put lamination down. But look, I have an ornament for Christmas now. I just have to attach something to it. And then I have an ornament for the tree of my son and his daughter. Or I can put magnets on the back and make it a magnet. My shining stars. <laughs> So these have to be cut apart. So I'm going to do that while I wait and see if other people are going to join me. Boy, this is such a huge sheet. I guess I should have done this before because I don't have the space right now. All right. Let's move my can for the garbage stuff out my way here. And I'm grab my bigger scissors so I'm not sitting here all day trying to get this apart. This is so exciting. So in the comment section below, if you're watching the replay in the comment section below, tell me what you're working on lately. I keep getting these little notifications and I'm thinking that somebody's commenting and the, they're not commenting. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Oh, you know what?
I wanted to try some of my smaller designs that I have, but I don't have anything that's small enough for a mug. So I was like, well, we can make a monogram. We can put a letter, an initial on the cup. I got the script because I wanted to be able to write whatever. I didn't want to just have to rely on, that's why I got the font. I don't want to just have to rely on stuff they were doing. Like, you know, like the word farmhouse. If I wanted to write just that and not have it be at Christmas or, you know, something like that, then I could do that on a sign or, you know, a shirt or whatever I'm trying to, was trying to design at the time. So I'm just playing with my chalk couture that I've had forever. So let's hope that my ink is still good because I had it for a while and just haven't used it. I'm supposed to be cutting on these white lines and I'm just messing it all up. I'm messing it all up. I'm cutting my actual transfers. That's what happens when your vision is not that great. So then we have the and sign and we have the commas and the exclamation. It's just it's the whole font set. Which is kind of cool. Because it means I can write anybody's name. I can write. I also have the skinny one somewhere. I don't know where I put that at, but I have the skinny font also. Which is almost like a Ray Dunn font. All right. So we have these. I really don't want to cut them apart unless I'm actually using them. And I don't seem to be using any of these letters today. And I just noticed that that's the first time I pulled this out of the thing. I wonder why that's pink like that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's strip that one. Oh, no, Linda. Put it back in its plastic sleeve. So we'll cut that. be cutting that one. All right, let's see. Will I be using the tea today? Let's do the letter J. There we go. And here. Because if it doesn't sell, I know somebody with the initial J, and it can be a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or something to that nature. But if somebody wants to purchase it, then if it turns out, we'll see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out good, we'll go in my... <laughs> All right, so I got the letter J there. <laughs> And I'm going to use the color black because the person with the letter J is a male. I know it's not my son. It's somebody else in my family, not my son. Okay. So I have my little squeegee that I haven't used in forever, y'all. I put this stuff away and I was trying to sell it. But I didn't do good with that. I just, I'm not a direct salesperson. No matter how many times I try to be, I'm just not. So anyway. All right. So I've got that. I've got this. And i got a mug. I've got my heat tool. And then I have my press. My mug press. So. trying to think if I have any other because once you put them in the heat press you can't keep putting them in the heat press yeah just the letter J on there will be good I mean we're just trying it out anyway let's let's just throw things all over the place because I do that when I'm on video this seems every time I'm on video I do that and I need there. 
Okay. All right. So first things first, you're supposed to, I don't have, where's my defuzz mat? Oy. Let's put this right here for a second. Let me set this. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, boom, ba do, boom, boom. I think that might work. So let's do this. Let's take this. And yes, I didn't clean it good when I used it last. I got a, I was having issues in my brain there. All right. So. We're going to do. So we're going to use the green. And I've never used this stuff before, so let's hope that it is still good. It's been sitting here for over a year. Let's stir it up. Let's get us a little stir out. It should be okay. I mean, it's ink. It hasn't been opened, so this is the first time air has hit it. Let's just stir it up. All right, let's try this. See what we got. Remember, this is the ink, not the um, not the paste. This is the ink. So this is not supposed to be washable. Let's take our squeegee and squeegee it out. Fix us back in. And of course, I'm not on screen because that would be like, why aren't you on screen, Linda? I don't know. All right, I'm just trying to make sure that I got it completely in all the little leaf spots there so that all the leaves have ink in this. All right, 
and put that back in there and then pull that up and it's smudged because I'm not that great at doing this kind of stuff. This has to go for washing. And that is called Meadow. I thought it said peppermint ink. I was like, peppermint ink? What? But it doesn't. It says permanent ink. <sighs> okay. Let's take this piece of paper and just wrap this up in there so the ink doesn't go anywhere else. And let's get our heat done. Oh, wait. Let's clean it up a tad bit. If we can. Like right there. I mean, it's not going to really matter that there's a little bit of smudge and smear because it's not for our customer. Let's make sure it's off the edge, though. We don't want it on the edge. Go. Now we're just going to take the heat. And we're just going to dry it. Now, if this was for Christmas, the red day would be cool, too. All right, I think that's good for now. Oh, I guess I should switch over to the comment section see if anybody's commenting because somebody's here with me. There we go. I don't see any comments, but hi, whoever you are watching. <laughs> All right, now let's take the letter J and let's take our fuzz mat. Let's fuzz it. And I'm trying this because Ken Hess did it on his, and of course he had this cute little bee. And it's, I think it said be kind or something. It might not have. It just might have been just to be. But it, it was cute. I like it. And the, the mug was very pretty. It actually was more elegant kind of looking. Kind of like classy. Maybe not elegant, but classy, you know. But, of course, I don't have all that extra stuff. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Now. Put our letter J in here. Sure there's no bubbles. I don't know if I did that on that other one. Let's make sure there's no bubbles. Let's make sure that this is cleaned off good. And then we're gonna get our black ink. Oh, uh, wherever it was left. Soon as I, I should have never said anything. I should have just acted like I didn't see them there. Because they look the sure when they're not there. That's okay. 
Ooh, this ink right here is one. I don't even want to peel that all the way off of there. Because, woo wee. That's thick. Boy, is that thick. Wow. All right, what did I do with them? Oh, here. I'll close it, but no, I didn't. Okay. Let's just use this ink here. And just go just like that. Cover that back up. There should be plenty of ink. We'll see. And just squeegee it. Ink back in the container. Ah, don't roll on me, mug. <laughs> All right. All right, just peel it off. There we go. Get this to where into the bath. Oh, nice. Now my other thing on top of it, see what it did? I like that black ink though. I want to put a J on the other side without the green. Oh, look, I got ink all over this mug and my hand. That's not good because clean that off of there. All right. Now, let's put the J on this side. Also, let's just set it right there, right there. Why is that at an angle? A max. Hold it. I need a max. All right, let's make sure that we got those corners good. All right. Let's put a little bit of ink on there. We didn't need that much, but ink on it. Trying to make sure my hands aren't going to. All right, let's just squeegee it. And get ink all over our fingers. Because I'm sloppy like that. Okay, I think we got the letter J covered good. Sorry, guys, I keep coming out of camera. Sorry. It's out of there. Boy, that one was full. Full, full, full. Let's set that up there because I'm not saving those. Put that back on because, well, 
there's a lot of ink on that one. All right, let's pull this up. And look, I got the green on there now because it was on here. We're just going to come along here and we're just going to wipe it away. We don't wipe our J away. I have to pull this up in my face. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing, but. All right, let's try it and see what happens here. All that needs to be cleaned. Let's set the ink. All right. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, look, I got ink all inside the mug. Yeah, I probably won't be doing this again. Because <laughs> uh, I'm too sloppy for this. The other stuff I do is... I'm going to put this in a heat press with ink in there. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to take some parchment paper. We're going to very carefully very scaredily wrap our mug. And go set it in the heat press, which I didn't turn on. We have to sit here and we have to wait. Minutes and all that stuff too. I do all the kinds of chop culture stuff. We could put a design on a shirt. I have a cute design that I've had for a while. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to take this off because I don't know what's happening with the ink. I, th I think I said it, but I don't know if I said it enough. So I'm scared to take this off of there. I'm just waiting for it to heat up, guys. Waiting for it to heat up. Our lid back on that while we're waiting so our ink doesn't dry out. All right, I'm gonna have to take that off. That means I'm gonna get more ink all over me. I think we need to make a shirt. 
once this heats up, we get this in now, then I'll clean my hands and we'll get a shirt out. I don't want to grab it. Oh, maybe we won't, because I'm not set up for a shirt. I'll end up with ink all over the stuff. And they're white shirts. I don't want to get ink all over white shirts. We're at 343. My knuckles are all swollen. I got ink under my nails now. I finally got them clean. This one is going numb while I'm holding this ready. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Bidu, 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 bidu. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And leave a comment, it'll help the algorithm so people can find me. 97, 98, 400, we've reached the temperature. All right, I think it's actually probably too hot. Now we're just gonna let it cook. Whether I ruin it or not, I don't know. We need to do some of this ink, though, that we got out on other stuff. What are we going to do it on? You know what? I need to do it on other stuff. do da. Uptown is this sing that song or we'll give you bad day. See. I don't want to do that until I know that this works. All right, guys, we're counting down here. Let's move this over here. This here. Oh, that ink is drying up under my fingernails and feeling really gross, guys, really gross. You know, if this works and it worked and it looks good as the other mugs that I'm making, This is another way of an inexpensive, not inexpensive, let me rephrase that, not inexpensive. This is another way of short notice gift. If you have to give somebody a gift on a short notice, like you got invited to a birthday party or something, you did, well, 30 minutes, you have a, a really nice gift for them. Doesn't take that long. If you're not having to design and all that stuff, when you have to start designing and all that stuff, then it takes a little bit longer. I don't know if the smeared, smudged, I don't know what happened in there. I don't know. All right, 15, 14, 13, 12. Seven. Six, five, four, three. Eat, eat, eat. I don't know.
It's steaming hot. I can tell you that. You see the steam coming off of it? But the ink is not on this, so I'm assuming it's on here permanently. But it's too hot for me to touch. Yeah, it's too hot. But I can tell you right now, it didn't smudge. Look. Uh-oh, wait. Uh-oh, wait. But you can feel the ink where you can't feel it the other way. You can feel this ink. I don't like that. It doesn't have that same shine and shimmer that the other stuff has. So, yeah, I'm not really too fond of this method. And this is way messier than the other method. So while it's cool, I mean, if you wanted to do your chocature on a mug, you can. But you can see the. Let me get another mug that I made so you can see the difference. See this? See how the glare goes over the design? But this one, the glare doesn't really go over it. See how the light kind of absorbs that? But this one, it doesn't. See the better shine on that? See, you don't have that here. This one, the ink is actually infused into the mug. This one is just sitting on top of the mug, which means it will end up eventually peeling off. So while that looks kind of cool, but watch the glare. See how the glare doesn't, you don't see it over the letter, but you see it over the blue in the car. See that? So. I need to get my heat thing back here. I need to turn my press off. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. If you were here watching and I just don't see you and you haven't commented, well, thank you for hanging out with me. And if you leave a comment in the comment section below when the video is not live, and I, I will be sure to try to get back to you on whatever your comment is. I will try to have a conversation with you. All right. Have a great day. Please hit subscribe. Bye.